So for uh, 28, we want to find vectors v and w so that v plus w is equal to 4, 5, 6, and v minus w is equal to 2, 5, 8. Um, and so this is a question with two unknown numbers, 2, because we're, we're looking for v and w. Um, and an equal number of equations to find those numbers. So we have the first equation v plus w and the second equation v minus w. Um, so before we set this up, we'll just say that v, we can see that um, v and w, they're all three-dimensional vectors. So we're going to have the v1, v2, and v3 components. And w is going to have the um, w1, w2, and w3 components. So. Um, and let's do first the minus, right? So if we do minus, this is going to give us uh, 2, 5, 8. Okay, 2, 5. Oops, let me write this a little better. 2, 5, 8. And then when we do, um, let me go, I'm going to just copy this one here. Oops. Yeah. Um, and so I'm going to copy this, paste it here. Okay, and when I do the plus, this is going to give us um, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so let's begin with V1 and W1. So we have that V1 minus W1 is equal to 2, and then we have that V1 plus W1 is equal to 4, because what we're doing here is we're just... Um, we're just comparing the first element. So once we have this, what we're going to do is we're going to add these equations. So we have the 2v1 minus w1 plus that, that is equal to 0. So that one's going to be equal to 6. Therefore, I have that v1 is going to be equal to, divide everything by 2, 3. And so if v1 is equal to 3, when I put it back in this equation, I have that 3 plus w1 is equal to 4. So we have that um, w1 must be equal to 1. So once I have found my v1 and w1, I'm going to go ahead and substitute this. So w1 is equal to 1, and v1 is going to be equal to 3. So let me put that on the lower one as well. Um, that is going to be equal to 1 and 3. Okay. So once we have done this, let's look at the second item. So now we're interested in v2, w2, and this is the second element, and v2, w2, and that is also the second element. So let's set up these equations. So we have that v2 minus w2 is equal to 5, and v2 plus w2 is going to be equal to um, 5 as well. Yeah. So when we add this, we get that 2v2, the w's cancel out, is equal to 10, and therefore, I have that um, v2 is going to be equal to 5. So if v2 is equal to 5, and I'm going to plug this it back into this equation right here. So I have that 5 plus w2 is equal to 5. So in this case, it must mean that w2 is equal to 0. So once I have found this, I'm just going to substitute this back in. So whenever I have v2, I'm going to put 5 and w2, I'm going to put 0. So 5, 0, OK. And we're only missing now the, oops, that should be 5. We're only missing now the third element. So once more, we're going to take v3, w3, and the third element, and then v3, w3, and the third element here. So we have that v3 minus w3 is equal to 8. And v3 plus w3 is going to be equal to 6. So let's add these. We have the 2v3. Um, the w3 is going to cancel. And then we're going to have that this is going to be um, 14. And so v3 is going to be equal to, to 14 divided by 2, 7. Okay, so if v3 is 7, let's plug this into that equation. So we have that 7 plus w3 is equal to 6. So bringing the 7 to the right-hand side, I have that w3 is going to be equal to 6 minus 7 minus 1. 
And so I do have now my last variables that I was missing. So let me put these in. So B3 is going to be equal to 7, and W3 is going to be equal to um, negative 1. Yeah, let me just put that in, 7 and negative 1. So that is it. We, um, we found V and we found W. So this over here is V and that one is W, and we are done with number 28.